Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today we will have a general reading. Keep in mind I'm reading the energy of the cards, but you all have free will to apply the guidance to your lives as you see fit, what you think and interpret, and how to how to use the applications of the tarot on a personal level. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. You're just going to have to come back to see what those are all about. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio, please. <clears throat> Didn't know what was coming out, but I thought, you know what? We're not going to force it. Let's let it fall. All right. You have here the Seven of Wands, which is, this is the Seven of Pentacles once I looked at it. The Queen of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Three of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, Six and Seven, and the Five of Swords. Well, look, there's something here about not resisting change, even if it's a mental battle with the Three and Five of Swords. But I do feel like something's coming to fruition here, especially money-related with the Six and Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and also that Seven of Wands. And it feels like a long time coming. Like you've had to do some navigating. Now, you've got great aspects for teamwork. You do have love here. You have a partnership. In fact, you actually have a wedding here. Um, I like this, you know, when we start to look at this, the the gray in the cards is balance, but it's also to protection in the Hierophant. But you have something here that I feel like it's long-term. Now, if it's a job situation, you're any kind of a trainer or anything where you're, you're able to give other people advice, I do feel like you're going to move forward here. I also get too, though, it, there for somebody here, you may be under some sort of spiritual advisement. If you're getting into you know, your own spirituality and expanding your understanding of what you are, why you're here, that sort of thing. I do feel like it touches every single area of your life. I mean, it brings beautiful awareness, beautiful expansion. So we have Taurus here. We've got water, air, quite a bit of air. Um, and of course we have earth here, but you've got a harvest coming in with the seven of pentacles. So I do feel like they're telling you the wait is over. And if it's been relationships, like if you've had a relationship that really broke your heart, you know, and you're the the owner of a, a not just a lonely heart, but a broken heart. I feel like with this, hey, there's 8 billion people. There's one looking for you. There's one standing in this energy saying, I wonder where, where they are. I wonder what I need to do next. How do I How do I meet this person? That sort of thing. There's somebody looking for the very qualities that you possess. So I do feel like there's going to be a, a, a meeting here if you have not met them yet. Um, but I also feel like, too, with that Queen of Swords energy, it's like you've learned a lesson in the past. But overall, with the Seven of Pentacles, it is saying that there may have been a contemplative period, a time when you were evaluating some things in your life. And if you were more focused on money for a time, if you went through some heartache and you got focused on money as a result, like, I'm swearing off love, I'm just going to do this. Or if you had some other areas in terms of like you were getting more education or something and you kind of want I just can't deal with all that right now together I'm just going to do one thing at a time I do feel like you're getting into a place where it's going to be a lot more balanced and so with the seven of wands though I will say with this this is moving forward it doesn't mean it's problem free but it's saying we're not going to let those little wands get any bigger we're not going to take little wands and make them into big problems so if you do have some minor setbacks if you are moving into a new job or you're doing something with teaching and learning and it's just been a lot to manage I do feel like you're getting into a much more manageable time and if you had a situation too maybe with a boss or somebody that was rather difficult to deal with I feel like somebody around you either the system changes there's some kind of a a structural or procedural change that's going to make things easier. But I also feel like, too, somebody may have a boss who leaves, too. I just feel like you have a departure, in a way, from these two. There's something that shifts so that you don't, you can get that out of your, 
vibration, okay? Because this we don't really want this stuck in the reading. If we can do some things to mitigate it, mitigate it. You know, the thing is about the tarot, it gives you guidance so you can avoid pitfalls if you need to. And that five of swords, like I said, can be a bit of a mental battle. And, and it also, too, with the three of swords can be something that's stung. It could be, you know, maybe somebody that you thought was a friend is just not as close of a friend. Or again, like I said, you have a boss that hasn't been the most understanding person in the world. I do feel like you're moving on from that. The queen of swords, though, is saying you've learned a lesson from it. This is also highly intellectual energy. She is the card of the attorney. So for some of you, if you're waiting on a decision and it's been like this, this seven of wands, like, you know, I'm just going to keep seeing it through. Well, again, you're coming into the place where you're harvesting with the seven of pentacles. So I do feel like with this queen of swords, it's beneficial. The other thing is too, it helps you keep your sense of humor. She's got a very witty energy. And she may be too like the kind of person that almost makes fun of difficult situations. And so it may be you or it could be somebody around you who is like, I know there's a joke in here somewhere. You know, that kind of attitude where it just seems to, you kind of see the, the, the humor in things or that silver lining, no matter what it is that you're going through. And you don't stop. You keep going forward until you're out through the other side. Because I do feel like there's just a little bit of a rain cloud around you with this. Um, now, this literally can be bad weather, but I don't necessarily see it that way. You do have a wedding here, but I still feel like with this, and who knows, if you have some bad wedding, maybe you end up in one of those videos that ends up going viral and you go, oh my God, I just made money off of this. But either way with this, I do feel like you've gotten wisdom and you're making gains. Great communication too, by the way. So if you are doing something with teaching or learning or something like this, boy, are you not only a great student, but also a great teacher where people are going to say, you're super clear. I understood you. I knew what you were trying to talk to me about. And with the nine of cups here, this is wish fulfillment. So I do feel like if you've had a difficult road, like I said, if you're the owner of that lonely heart, I do feel like you're going to come into a relationship here where a person treats you like none other. It's like where you feel it's almost kind of an adjustment, quite frankly, like this person really treats you like you're special and you are. Okay, they really understand your worth, your value. But even more than that, the value of relationships. I feel like whoever this is, they're a wonderful, warm personality. And I keep getting the picture of a hotel. I don't think you're sneaking around in hotel rooms with this person. I feel like it's more like a, a, an indication of a vacation or a weekend getaway or something like that. You may find that they surprise you too if you're already in a relationship like you have a surprise coming through. I mean, but this is really having wish fulfillment. Now, in terms of a job too, you've got a you've got an energy of pride here. He's proud of those cups. He's sitting pretty. So if you did have to weather a storm through a job, I do feel like, again, you might be the last man standing or woman, doesn't matter. Um, the, you know, with this, it's like this is the kind of thing where we say, Sometimes I have problems, but I just seem to outlast them and the problems go away. They're the whirling dervishes of life where we just don't connect our energy so they don't stay attached to us. The problem when we start connecting our energy with them is they hook onto us like barnacles. You don't see him having to shake something off of his robe. It's like you'll find here that you may, you may be kind of smiling about how you handled a situation, especially if it's something with work. You're going to be coming into a lot more harmonious energy with this. This is fabulous teamwork. So if you have had a challenge at a job where you just couldn't get in a rhythm with somebody around you, I don't feel like that's going to continue. Okay, and this also might be part of the reason why. They may, may also have a departure coming their way. Um, but with this Three of Pentacles, or if it's you, that makes the departure because that also could be here too. You're going to go on to something here that's so much more harmonious. This is like getting accolades. It's being well received it's being built up in its camaraderie it's people who want to work together not work against okay there's nobody like you know king of the mountain they're not trying to push him off of this bench they're like listening intently and hanging on his every word and you get it with this one too by the way so with this here of an energy this is unity it brings everything together and so it is a time of education. It's a time of a spiritual teacher, mentor, a counselor, like I said earlier. Um, but it's also saying that he holds up his hand to give you his blessing. He holds up his hand to say, be still and know. 
It's your ability to, for some of you, to discern between your instincts and your intuition, okay? So that you may not act rashly or impulsively. You may be able to kind of hang out here, quite frankly. That's why I always <clears throat> think of him in a way like he's sitting there. And I, I do use the word smug sometimes, but I feel like it's like he knew what was going to happen. I get that for you. Like if it's, again, some kind of a difficult person in your awareness where you know that you just need to stay on the right course, not stoop to their level. And I'm telling you, you're going to get praise. You're going to get promotion. You're going to be in the best place that you can be. Now, in a relationship, though, this definitely, when we talked about the hotel, this would never be an affair card. Okay, this is like high moral ground. This is not, I'm in love with somebody else's match. I mean, that not even close. So I do want to say in terms of relationships, it's definitely one of commitment, of running the distance, of duration. And, and it's a, a lifelong partner. This is partner material right here. So that three of swords we've dabbled with, there's some kind of an ending here or some kind of, again, a, a bit of a pang of the heart. But I do feel like with the Six of Pentacles, you're going to be bringing in more balance, much more balance. And you're also going to be bringing in money. So if you felt like you were underappreciated financially, it may be you who moves along. Um, or if somebody walk, gets exited, you may benefit from it too in terms of commissions or something like that. Now that Five of Swords, like I said, this is a departure. So I feel like you're going to have to interpret that in terms of if you're really moving on or it's it, you're saying, I need to stick this out, then it's somebody else who's going to move along. Now also too, I still feel like you have a relationship that comes in. So if there's been an ex in the past that was a challenging situation, I feel like you have a new one showing up. All right, let's see here. What else Scorpio needs to know, please? What advice do you have for Scorpio, please? Ask your angels because they want to interact with you. They're lined up waiting. Be assertive. So, t you know, you've got just that seven of wands. Take some action, they say. And recovery, too. So if you have had some challenges, you're going to be on the upswing within the next few weeks, they say. And you've got choose a new direction. So we'll be open. Be open to changing directions. But good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.